Folks, it's going to stay pretty hot around here as we head through the rest of this week on into the weekend. Look at your high temperatures compared to the normal highs we're supposed to have this time of year. We'll be 10 degrees above average on Thursday, and it'll even be more than that on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going for a high of 97 Sunday. If everything sets up just right, I wouldn't be surprised if a few areas northwest of Waco Temple Colleen get close to 100. We'll be watching that. 93 degrees on Monday as that front gets closer, and then we finally start to cool things off by the middle part of next week. But there's still a little hesitancy in some of the models on how cool we will be. More on that in a second. Heat still on right now, though, as we do have that big area of high pressure that is just dominating our weather. You can see a few showers and thunderstorms here across the southwestern U.S., then a few clouds spilling over into Oklahoma. But but other than that, it is just pretty hot and dry for October standards around here. And of course, Milton, that is going to be a major player tonight moving into Tampa for likely as a Category 3 hurricane as it continues off toward the northeast. Will likely be the strongest hurricane to hit the Tampa area in 103 years. So that is going to be a significant storm as it will likely be a Category 3 hurricane as it makes its way on in, then eventually across the peninsula as a hurricane and then continues off to the east and by tomorrow will be in the Atlantic. Let's check out our model extended temps here and show you kind of what I'm talking about for next week. Everything's pretty much in agreement. As we head into the weekend, it's going to be hot. European model, it's still a little lower than the GFS, so I'm going to be um, probably hedging my bets closer to the GFS model. And Sunday is again when we're really going to have to watch it. All the models come up here. so. Some mid to upper 90s, definitely a possibility across the area. But what I really want to show you is next week. We get into Monday. Everything's pretty much even here. But then we get to Tuesday, and watch what happens. The American model, for some reason, really warmed up today. And it's going 90 degrees, while the European model is going 77. And then we are looking at 90 and 68. So probably going to lie somewhere in between here. That's why these are model forecast. We take the models, we make our own. So I'm going middle of the road right now with temperatures near 80, both Tuesday and Wednesday. But they could go up, they could go down. So we will continue to track that as we get more data in. So for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Tomorrow, another hot one. Highs into the low to mid 90s across the area. And if you like the heat, yeah you get a few more days. 94 degrees on Friday, 96 to 97 over the weekend. Uh, Sunday's the day we'll really have to watch for maybe a little more intense heat. Then as we get into Monday, 93 degrees, then we're dropping temperatures as we head to next week. But the numbers you see Tuesday through Friday, those are middle of the road numbers. They could go down, they may go up. We'll just have to wait and see how strong that front's going to be. I do think we will get some cooling out of this. It's just how much is the question right now. As we take a look at the Brazos Valley, 94 degrees on Thursday, middle 90s as we head into the weekend, and same thing for you. How much of that cool air will get down into the area? Some will, but we will be tracking those numbers as we get closer to next week.